Brian turnaround. Has anyone ever heard about this term? Brian turnaround? Has anyone ever? Yeah? More hands, please. Keep the excitement. Only 100 out of 100. All right, thank you. Brand turnaround is the time when the brands face difficulties. And for this reason, I said, I'm working under a theme called From Bad to Glory. So we are from a very, very bad situation to, to the glory, right on the top. How do you do that? Please do follow me here. Before we start, are we ready? Are we ready? Yes, yes please, thank you. Ice breaking, so we will give you a piece of ice now and we start breaking it. Is this what you mean by ice breaking in a, you know, in a program or a session? No. What does it mean? What does it mean? Warm up session, yes? It's totally on the other side. So it's just to keep you warming up. So the warm up session here starts with a question Who feels that? marketing, branding, customer service, come together. You cannot separate them. Who feels so? Again, 100 out of 100. So I don't need to go further. Thank you, but that's good. It gives a good indication. Yes, you cannot have marketing alone anymore. You cannot have branding alone anymore. And you cannot stay in isolation about delighting your customers. So customer delight, customer experience, customer service is a must if you want to talk about branding or marketing. So just like a triangle here, cannot work without. Branding, so let's move to the part one of the program today, marketing and branding. Does anyone feel here that there is a difference between both the marketing and branding? Do they look the same? Are they the same or they're totally different? Are they in marriage or divorce? Yeah? They're in divorce? Or they're same? Yeah, they have to, they're same? No? Okay, coexist, thank you. Brands, when we talk about brands, brand is a product, a surface, it could be a concept, right? That distinguished you from others or other surfaces or products. Did we get it? So when you differentiate yourself, when you distinguish yourself from others, then you're in the branding or then you're a brand if you if yourself. And that can be easily communicated and marketed, right? So when you see such logos, they're brands, right? Because they communicate a message, they're different than others. Because there's something they provide. We spoke about the brand. What does branding mean? Branding is a process, and by the way, whenever you hear the process, it means a time factor is there, right? Can you just do this? If it's process, means the time is needed. Anything you see a process means the time needed, right? So the branding cycle is a process or the time needed involved in creating a unique, and that's the catch here. It has to be very unique. Name and image of a product or a service in the consumer's mind where that uniqueness goes, in the consumer's mind, because they are the one who are going to love you and pay for you, mainly through advertising. So advertising is the key medium, is the key driver for any branding, OK? With a constant pushing forward, keep persistent, theme that attracts the loyalty or the loyal consumers. Got it? Thank you. Whatever your mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. Do you believe in this? Right? So whatever your mind. Why I said this? Because if you remember my remarks this morning, I said you have to view the world from inside out, not outside in. And that makes a big difference. You still remember this, I hope, right? Nasr Akram, you still remember him? All right. You know what I'm talking about so far, Nasr? Thank you. Airbnb, has, ever, has anyone ever heard about this name? Yes. Hospitality, housing, vacations, bit, short, mid, long term, right? And that was created in 2008. 2008 is what? The year of the meltdown, financial crisis. 
So how come everyone almost in this room has voted for yes when I said the A, B, and B? And everyone at the same time said 2008, 2009, they were the bad times for everybody. <coughs> and they started from a small startup from San Francisco. Right? And during the bad time, the toughest time ever of this a new century, if you would, in a way. Can anyone think of another company whom we almost use? It started almost a couple of months after this startup? Uber. Exactly, Uber. Uber started again from San Francisco, and they started in March 2009. Guess how much money they make now? The revenue. 6.5 billion, that is a big B. Not million, billion, six. And that started even during the tougher time that Airbnb started. So you see, when you start to view the world differently, and both the startups are non-conventional startups, so they did not go through this normal process that, okay, let me come to the big idea, have a teamwork, blah, 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 blah. And this is what we need to do now. We need to think in non-conventional way of thinking, communicating the message, or seeing the world. Yeah, and we call this a paradigm shift in the thinking process. Those who are book lovers, who love reading a lot, this is one of the recommendations. And I would recommend you to buy this. It's going to cost you about 55 dirhams, the book, and give it to your beloved ones. One of your kids, and says, okay, kid, listen, there was a startup who started in a very tough time back in 2009. And they were able to make 6.1 billion. And I want you to be that gentleman later on. It's easy to start. Go ahead and read the book. It's less than 200 page read. Please change the way again, conventional way of giving, gifting your sons and daughters, the beloved one, the small one. We keep giving them all nowadays an eye, an iPad, gadgets, right? Just to cool them off, to stop crying. So please start, do something different. What is marketing now? Marketing is again, getting the right goods or the services to the right people in the right place, at the right time, at the right price, with the right level of communication, profitability, with a profit. How many rights we have here? Six rights? So you need to have six rights to be able to be a marketer, right? So don't fool yourself. It's not that easy to be a marketer. So you have to have all these things together in place with a profit, right? We go here. We, as you see the here in the middle, we are the customers. When someone do marketing, what, he, what does he do to us? He made us to know him, right? to like him or to like you, if you wouldn't know if you're the marketer, and trust you and love you, right? But when you do branding next to the marketing, then you become to the customers knowable, likable, trustable, lovable, and everything goes able, 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 right? So we become that much. And that's the difference here between the marketing and the branding and the importance of it, right? So customers and uh, you may see one of my old write-ups about more than eight years back. It's just a handout, if you would. It talks about how to have a successful marketing plan. For those who are interested, the book is just outside. It is only 500 US dollars, the cost of it. It's not that expensive. So you can, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's affordable, isn't it? Just thank you very much. No, I'm just kidding. All right. My brands turn around, stories, and start to do it. My turn around. <laughs> And by the way, this slide is going to reveal a secret here, right? It's going to reveal a secret. I will see how smart you are. Does anyone here have a smartphone or a calculator on it? Oh, God. All right, good to know that. I'll tell you why. My turnaround started back on 1990, that one, 990. And at, I was at the age of 25 years old. Right? 25 years old. Now, the fifth turnaround was given by our 
beloved President His Highness uh, Dr. Sultan Al Qasimi back in 2014. And this is where I said, if you have a calculator, because everyone keeps asking me, how old are you? You know how good this question is, especially when you, uh, you ask a woman, how old are you? Wow, you look so gorgeous, you look so long, but still I'm interested to know how old are you? And the same thing, I know a gentleman whom I worked with him for the last 25 years, we had the first job together, and he said, oh, mashallah, Rashid, you still look the same, Rashid, 25 years back. But how, how, how did you reach now? Where are you now? How old are you? Again, still the same question. So can you guess you have smartphones? How old I am now? At the age of 25, that was 1990, and after so many years, 2014, I was given the other assignment, and we're in 2017, so you have, you have to keep add and subtract. How old I am? Thank you, 66. I, do I look like 66? <laughs> and we believe that we have the smartest phone on earth. Thank you very much for saying 66. Still, you cannot get it? 25. Okay, more? 22, thank you. No wonder the highest sale on math in this country. Yeah. Astaghfirullah Rabbil Alameen. Adi tabghila tawba ruha, all right. Still? You know, I was trying to find the smart answer, guys. Listen, especially those who are working for me. You should tell me, age is only a number. So don't worry, Rashid, you're still 25. You have to tell me this to keep me going, get me inspired with you. Still no one has reached the right answer. So thank you. <laughs> Let me keep going. Anyway, I have a small book called My Leadership Secrets, and it was written about 14 years back. Small book. Again, I would say booklet of you. It's about 100 page. But I did talk about my experience with the Charger Charity International. On the first assignment, I was one of the youngest ever. His highness trusted and wanted me to take uh, uh, and do a big turnaround in that organization. He really wanted to really turn it upside down and bring it to the next level. So that was my first assignment. I was a kid, if you would. When it comes to the business and the business grows those days, I was really a kid. And to, to do this big task is not an easy thing. Especially uh, those days, we used to operate in about thir three different countries. Three zero, sorry, 30 different countries. Right? Brand turnaround, generally speaking, whenever you go to crash courses, program, workshops, and other, they say brand turnaround, if you would, it uh, goes through seven or nine processes. One of them is start with this, take responsibility, never give up, keep you know, looking for a brighter future, lead strong, stay relevant, keep improving, build equity, and own your destination. So most of the branding cycles will speak about the same language, right? I I'm different. I'm not those uh, people who think in the very conventional way of doing things. Otherwise, I won't be as successful. And I'm happy that I've done a, a, a very a uh, big turnaround for the last almost 25 years with his and directly reporting to him, to his eyes. That really uh, is so much encouraged at the age of 25, uh, till the age which you all people agreed on, all right? I've been doing that, and alhamdulillah successfully. But please take my word. Branding, and it takes a few hours of a day probably to learn, right? And to capture the knowledge. But don't fool yourself. At the end of this day, don't say that um, I become a master in branding and marketing because I have listened to more than, you know, 14 big recognized speakers. No. Unfortunately, it takes a lifetime to master. So it's not an easy thing to do, right? Do you agree on that? We need to keep agreeing, yes? yes. So it takes a lot of time to, to master. Recap, do you need to recap? You know, when you go to those programs, they want to make sure that you're still awake. Recap, what did we learn? And quickly, anyone can say anything here? About my age, yeah, that's one of them, okay, I know. What's the, what next? Anything, anyone, we'll throw anything. What did, you, what did I talk about? Branding, good. 
marketing, yes? Green journey? Where did it come from? Okay. Brand turn around. Nasr Akam, you were the, the more brightest here, or the most brightest, I say. Masha looking at me every single minute. Yeah? The, they go together, yeah? All right, thank you. So, brand or branding is about the feeling, about the experience you have. It's about the behavior, relationship, and association. So all these things, they make the branding. And in the branding, you must have a constant theme. Very one language, constant. Your promise. And this is our constant theme for the last nine years, where leaders make decisions. And this is our constant theme for this program. You leader, you sit together and you make decisions, right? It is more than just a logo. Branding is not about a logo. It's more than that. And listen to what I've, I've said here. It says branding is not about getting your target market to choose you over the competition. But it's about getting your prospects to see you, you are the only and the only one provide solution or it could be solutions to their problems or a problem if you would in a way. Right? So they see that you are the one. Right? They can't use it. So then you are in a branding, if you would, in a way. So it's more, just more than a, 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 and how that happens. Look at the big brands, what they do. Right? Starbucks and Coca-Cola. So they directly go to the consumer emotional engagement. So they engage you emotionally. When they create that positive, positivity in your mindset, then you're automatically, if you would, in a way, emotionally attached to the brand and to meet their aspiration, if you do in a way. Brand revitalization, rebirth, revitalization, what does it mean? It means here, when you grow, when you make something develop, become successful again, revitalize. So revitalization is part of the process of branding. How do you do that? You have a brand, that's the brand image is sinking, brand is going nowhere, just about to announce bankrupt. What do you do? First of all, you should have a purpose. It just like in life. If you don't have a purpose in life, then you don't have a life. Because you'll keep complaining. You keep complaining of everything. You have the best cars, you have the best schools, you have for your kids, you have the so much millions in, in the bank, and, and you still see what, what is my purpose in life. I haven't even yet discovered myself. I'm still on that discovery mission. No. You should have a purpose even in business. And that purpose is, is why you do what you do. Why you do what you do, that is the purpose. So you don't need to a religious person to tell you what is your purpose in life. Sorry? Someone is breaking through here. All right, thank you. All right, so when you have a purpose, that purpose will drive two things. Will it drive your passion? and will drive your performance. So that's why I call the three P's of leadership and branding. So you need a purpose why you're doing what you're doing. Second, you need to have a passion why you love this. That will be driven by the purpose and why you love what you do. Passion is about loving doing something. And then about the performance. How do I break it down to make it a measurable, actionable, achievable goals? Following our you, for lowing. Thank you. Then, during that process, growing a business again, or solving an issue with the brand, you need to have brand strategy. Have you ever seen a brand strategy in one slide? Usually, strategies in how many pages when you go to a consultant? Thousand of pages? Let us be realistic, how many pages? Is anyone a consultant here? Do we have consultants? Five zero? Five zero. Yeah? Around five zero? All right, so I did it in one slide. All right, so if you want to write about strategy, brand strategy, this is the brand strategy. It's a fulfillment and customer expectations and consistent customer satisfaction. So no smartness. It's about expectations and satisfaction. So anyone would come to you and say, I will be writing you 
a so much attractive branding strategy. Tell him or her, thank you. The Aline Business Congress, they were kind. And they told us that in one slide, we can have really an executive summary of the 50 page, if you would. And that's it about expectations and satisfaction of the, full, of the customer, how to fulfill that. Got it? Agree on that? What is this now, a puzzle? What do you see here, numbers? All right. Your eye test. All right, good one, thanks. No, it's not. It's about one of the good local brands here who did really very well, Air Arabia. Superiority in quality, speed, safety, surface, and reliability, together with lower cost and lower prices. So they really made them brand for the last so almost a decade now of a surface and proven to be one of the best at the global level now when it comes to the low, low cost careers, if you will. So they only have these all things, so that's why they've been chosen over others, right? Do you have an Air Arabia representative here? Poor me, no tickets. Then, that's yes, unfortunate, right? Do I need to give you a break, by the way? Do you need a break? Thank you very much. Look at the excitement. Speakers, we do the same thing. Yeah? Ask them if they need a break. I'm sure they will say no too, yeah? Because we've got so much good stuff, all right? So in summary, brand is about what? This set of values, if you would. Set of a very unique values. Oh, it's about the surface, about the passion, equality, security, level of uh, and belonging, and, and, and the list goes on and on and on, isn't it? So we need to recap again, just to make sure that you know no sleeping faces around here. What did I talk to you about? People at the back? They say the smartest always sits at the back, the front, sorry. Not that much. Expectations, OK. Say something, please. Say something, yeah. You remember Bob Marley? Say something, yeah. The? Three P's, OK, thank you. Right. Strategies, yes, and? Yeah, thank you, Rashid. Give us a break, a, a break if you want a break, too. You remember, that was what I said, too. Anyway, thank you. Now I'm just about to beginning my presentation. That was only warming up session so far. You're happy? You're still feeling warm enough? Excited? I promise you I'll give you a break right after my speech, right? So talk about the 10 Ps again. Keep saying Ps here, right? The branding cycle, and they, they, those are mine, all right? So let us see, when I do a branding or a brand turn around, how does it go? I would draw a circle, right? And I would say, I have to have a passion. I have to have a unique product. I have to have presentation for that product, and I have to have promise. I have to be patient very much and positive, position, personality in a branding. I have to have persistence and perception. And that is my branding or rebranding, rebirth, revitalization cycle. And why do I call it a cycle? Because this continues. It has no end. It will keep repeating itself from time to time, right? So brands, if you look at throughout the history, even the, the top brands in the world now, I'll be giving some examples. There is a time when they really go so much dull, and they're just about to go to death. And then they pick up again for a reason, and we need to discover what that reason is. Passion. Passion is about a strong and powerful emotion. If you have a emotion attached to something, then you can create a difference. And for this, when you study branding, there's something called passion brand. Passion brand is about extremely positive attitude from the consumer toward the specific brand that leads to emotional attachment. So how you, how you reach that emotional attachment? By creating positive mindset in the consumer's mind, right? So everything starts with love, loving to do something. And that we call it passion. And if you remember, passion was or is driven by your purpose, 
right? So this is one of the passion brands. So consumers feel loose when you're.